The school board is supposed to represent the whole community, the students, the parents, and the taxpayers. But the school board is elected by the teachers' union. Let's take a look at the last two years. Seven of the seven elected board members got the teachers' union endorsement. The teachers' union drives campaign financing in the federal, state, and local elections by reminding the union employees they can lose tenure, pensions, and collective bargaining. The employee is reassured that their authorization is, quote, made voluntarily and without fear of reprisal, unquote. Once signed, the union's vote cope payroll deduction remains in force throughout employment. But it's only $4 times two paychecks times 10 months times 100 teachers times 770 school systems is $6,160,000 here on an unpaid school board. Candidate selection, campaign financing, voter block initiation, media retaliation, and finally rigged elections if need be has one campus. goal, and that is to deny you representation, to make certain that the person who you pull that lever for, the person popping up on the other side as the duly elected official will duly ignore the electorate and serve the corporate state and the corporate unions of the school tax syndicate in their corporate monopoly. And here's what that looks like.